Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I have a new item that I've been wanting to try out. Um, I've just been kind of going back and forth on it, but I finally purchased it. And it is the Tati Beauty Blendiful. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and open it because why not? So I watched her video and I watched like one other video. And then when I ordered it, I realized Jackiana had dropped her video on it. So I was like, I'm glad I ordered it because I kind of want to try it. Um, obviously I watched her video to figure out like how to actually use these two dailies right here. Um, but then I watched, I watched somebody else's video and they weren't like too jazzed about it. They actually had some complaints, but can't win them all. Um, so yeah, I wanted to do my makeup on camera using these. So it's like a demo slash review. So I'll tell you how I like it at the end. Also, if you are loving my eyes, I do have a makeup tutorial on these eyes. I don't know if this video is gonna go up before that one or vice versa, but I do have a tutorial for my eye look. So um, yeah, so I think we're just gonna jump right into the video so if you want to see me play around with this tati beauty and hear my thoughts on it just stay tuned okay so when tati was talking about this bigger when tati was talking about this bigger puff she pretty much like used it for just about everything including primer and she said this one is the one that you kind of take with you on the go and it's good for touch-ups and blah, blah blah so i'm gonna put this one down i'm just gonna focus on this one um so as far as primers go i've been using my laura mercier pure canvas yep pure canvas primer so i don't know how i want like i guess i'll just like squirt some on my head on my face then just to because you're supposed to be able to use this for just about everything um, so I'm gonna try. So I'm gonna just take my puff here and just No, it definitely did apply it. So Got that going for us. Okay Okay First product application I'm impressed. I can feel um, that's the word I'm looking for. I can feel the products, so it definitely it's really interesting. So I'm just gonna do my face as I would if I was doing my face or going somewhere. So anyway, um, so next I'm going to color correct just under my eyes today. And I'm using my Kevin Aquam Central Skin Enhancer. I've been loving this since I got it and a little does go a long way. Also, I did purchase two of these only because they retail for $18 and you get two in a pack. You buy a beauty blender for $20 for one. So I figured why not? And plus, um, the one person I did watch, why can't I think of who I watch? Um, their main complaint was like, you have to wash these, wash these, and they take a little longer to dry versus like a beauty blender where you can kind of like clean it on the go. So I bought two um, to like have one clean and always have one ready. So yeah, there's that. So I'm gonna go ahead and buff out my corrector. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's, I've only used a brush with this product, but I feel like this laid down so much better with this puff. Okay, 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 sure, I'm not mad about it. And I think I'm gonna take a little bit of product that's left on the brush. I'm just gonna get 
I have some hormonal acne. I'm just gonna take that with the tip of the puff and blend it out. And of course I gotta lean over because I forgot to grab my foundation I wanted to use. Be back. See, that wasn't so bad. So um, the foundation I'm gonna use today is my Max, Max, my Max Studio Fix Fluid and I'm in the shade NW50. I'm just gonna pump on the back of my hand and I'm gonna take the sponge and just kind of dab it in and see what happens here. I'm gonna try and use this for as much stuff as possible just so I can see if it's really like worth the hype. Cause if it is, I'll buy more. And I'm just kind of patting the product. And doesn't look that bad it just feels weird that this is what I'm using like I, it feels like I don't even know what it feels like it feels like something I have in the house like a towel or something so I did see her contour with this as well so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to use my my Ben 9. This is actually a cream shadow. And this is in rich brown. <sighs> okay. Same side cuz I'm you can flip this over so I want to use just one puff. I'm going to use this side for my liquids and this side for my powders. So here we go. And I'm going to blend with the same thing. I'm using more of the puff this time to blend my contour out. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting my jawline. I mean, I guess I could. I didn't pick up any more product. I'm just using the product that's left on the puff. That actually didn't do too bad of a job. All right, I kind of want, I, I don't know, like I wasn't expecting it to be as, I don't know what I was expecting to be honest with you. Like I thought it would be good, but I didn't know cause it kind of looked gimmicky. So I'm just gonna do my under eye highlight. This is the shade Beautiful Bronze, the LA Girl Concealer. Using the puff still, using the puff. I'm actually going to slip, flip it over and use the other end.
Okay. Okay. So far so good. So now I'm going to flip it over. So I'm going to flip it over. Um, I guess the only thing is, yeah, you're, you are you are going to be touching the side where you use your cream products. But it is what it is. My hands get dirty anyway when I'm doing my makeup. So I keep hand sanitizer and stuff around. So whatever. So anyway, I'm going to set my highlight. I'm using my Laura Mercier uh, translucent powder. And I'm just going and set my under eye. Okay. So far, so good. <laughs> knocking over stuff because I keep bumping my desk so um, now I'm going to just set the rest of my face I'm going to set the rest of my face with my Mac studio fix powder and this is an NW48 So I seen her do her cream contour, like bronzer situation. I didn't, I wasn't paying attention. I didn't catch her if she did like, um, like her actual powder bronzer with the puff. I'm sure she did, but I have the Scott Barnes brush, this brush right here. And I kind of want to use that for my bronzer. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm using my Fenty bronzer and I'm going to use Mocha Mommy today. All right, so what I want to do is, because I don't think I'm going to use the puff anymore, I'm just going to go off camera, finish the rest of my face, and then I'll come back. So, give me one. Okay, so I just went ahead and finished doing my makeup off camera. Um, and I just want to come back and give you my thoughts on this puff. Now, I, I think I like it. I feel like I'm never... Ugh. I need to put carpet underneath me. Um, my room has wood floors and I slide all over the damn place. Okay, anyway, um, I feel like I probably need to use this just a few more times to know if I really, really like it. And I'll continue to use it and then I'll come back and maybe do like a follow-up to let you guys know if I like it or if I don't like it. Um, but for today's application, I actually do like it. I like how I blend out my foundation, my concealer, my corrector, um, even my cream, um, bronzer my cream concert that I use because I've been using a brush and a sponge I actually like how this puff blended out better because it kind of made it just like melt into my skin like you can't really tell like you don't see like where your foundation getting in my like contour like all that jazz like it melted it made it melt into my skin so I do like that um, I'm gonna wash it and all that jazz when I clean my brushes I'll hand wash this and see how it survives like i said i did buy two just in case i do like it i have a backup and if i like it that much i'll probably purchase another one because they were only 18 dollars and you get two so i could stick this in my makeup bag that i have in my purse for touch-ups which i am mad about because you spend 20 dollars on a beauty blender sponge and you know however long that lasts you we'll see how long this lasts me um but yeah so we'll see. I'm going to keep using this and I'll come back in another video, like a follow up video and let you guys know if I really, really like this or not. Um, but for right now, I'm going to say yes, I like it. I like it for the price point and I like it for everything you can do with it. And surprisingly enough, like it did not uh, pick up any products or anything when I was doing my concealer my foundation it didn't it actually blended out really well so I'm really impressed so I'm going to keep using it and I'm going to keep using it with other foundations and other products to see how well it works 
um but yeah so thank you guys for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you in my next video deuces i was gonna wait but deuces <laughs>